one twenty three of them. Uh, but you didn't get the stoppage again, just like Joe Smith. Uh, Castillo looked a lot bigger than you. Do you consider going down to sixty eight? Do you think that there's any pressure to, to, to get more knockouts? Because you're dominating fights, you're winning every minute of every round, but you're not getting knockouts. And the guys look much bigger than you in there. Uh, yes, everyone in uh, like a weight division bigger than me, uh, but uh, I like uh, this division because there are a lot of uh, good fighters and uh, I feel comfortable in light heavyweight. Uh, what about uh, knockouts? Uh, uh, you know, my favorite fighters uh, is uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Roy Jones Jr., uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, I like uh, to watch their fights, how they move, how they show us uh, their defense. Uh, defense. And uh, I like boxing uh, because uh, if you have not enough uh, power, uh, you can win someone. If you have not uh, enough speed, uh, you can use your movable uh, mo mm -hmm. movement and uh, power. Uh, this is boxing. Uh, and this is smart sport. Uh, you can win the fight with your brain. Um, what about uh, knock knockouts? Uh, in the first round, beat my opponent, knock him out. Uh, but uh, it's not the best way, I think, for me. Because I'm not a puncher uh, like uh, Mike Tyson. I'm a boxer. I use my legs and my brain to get a win. And a lot of people in the world uh, uh, have a <coughs> can fight with their brain. I'm a champion uh, and I don't understand why my challengers didn't want to get my belt. They just uh, spending the time in the ring against me, I think. Kathy, uh, the fight practically just ended, but from talks that you've had with Dimitri and the team, uh, where can we go from here? Because as he's saying, the challengers really aren't stepping up. Um, so possibly looking towards a unification? Have, has there been any talks of uh, what could possibly be next? Um, no, it's too soon for that. And actually, you know, World of Boxing is his lead promoter, um, and I am here as a partner. So, uh, you know, when they need advice, we, we offer. Uh, but then we make any decisions about the, 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 uh, you know, the, the funds as they come. I can tell you from our experience, I had a very similar experience with Sergey Kovalev coming up. Nobody wanted to fight him either. As the, as the uh, pots get bigger and bigger, it gets a lot easier to get people to come in who, who want to come in and engage. Because I can tell you, I, there were moments in that fight where I got the feeling if Castillo had wanted to engage the way he was able to for, in, in spots, it would have been a, a barn burner. It would have been an amazing fight. So he's got to get to that level where, where those opponents are coming in who are capable. And it, it'll happen. It takes patience. He's very good that he's so patient because it'll be, he'll get there. I have a question for Vani. Vani, you know uh, Dimitri very well. You, you, you see him sparring. Uh, when there's going to be a, a, an opponent in front of him who wants to take his belt, it's going to be a totally different fight. And uh, if he fights Vozdik or better be it for Kovalev or Canelo or whoever, these guys are going to come to try to win the fight. And then, it's, then that's going to be a totally different story. Like Kathy just said, they're going to engage. And that's going to give Mitri the opportunities to, to do what he does. Did you see this? This, this way of fighting even better than he fights right now in the training camp or in sparring from him? Um, he does what he does in the fight. He does all his life, I believe. You know, he's been doing that for, since his first professional fight. Some people don't realize that. Some people are like, oh, you know, Dimitri has lost confidence or Dmitri is not the same or he's not punching like he used to. No, he's done this since the first sparring in the pros. Uh, and like, for me, like as a fan, I love knockouts. But I hate a lot more when my fighters lose, so I don't really care. You know, the fans today—they are not not—they are not disappointed with uh, Dmitri not knocking them out. A lot of the fans there—they want to see Gvozdik be well, and so do I. And that's going to be a real fight, and that's going to be exciting. But I don't even think Gvozdik is going to go past better. I think he's going to get knocked out in that fight, and then that's when the fans are going to be disappointed because their fighter—you know—it's not going to be a disappointment of not of their fighter not getting a, a win by knockout. One of those guys, I think, is going to be on the ground. I mean, it's a 50-50 fight, and it's going to be a real fight, but for me, as a Dimitri's manager and a part of Dimitri's team, it's more important that he wins every time. 
I hope he wins as many times as Floyd Mayweather and becomes the, the biggest fighter in, in, in this era. And, and that's what it's about. Okay.